What up, y'all? It's Puddin', and it's been a while. Um, what I'm about ready to show you, y'all know that, uh, you know what, let me just turn this around, and I'll talk as I'm showing. Ready to kick some ass? Yeah, bring a gun or two. Get your whole town. This gonna be the showdown. And we gonna make the street smoky like it was Motown. Come on. Come on. I got the temptation. Feeling the sensation. First off, I gave the baby girl a bath yesterday. And uh, my next, one of my next projects that topper, the whole thing, is getting redone. But that's not what I wanted to show you today. Let me shut that. You know how long I've been waiting to get this done and to find a cushion to put on top of it? Well, I've been looking on Amazon and everything else. And the cheapest thing I found for a cushion was like 50 bucks. Look what Puddin just found this morning at um, it's the Salvation Army. Yeah, I know. People be oh, you bought it there. Ew, girl, someone else laid on. You know what? I don't give a shit. I paid 25 bucks for this thing. Oh, about broke my Winchester mirror. 25 bucks. This thing is huge. It's got a cover on it. So what I'm going to do is take the cover off real quick. I'm going to cut the foam down for the couch size. Then you see that I'm going to put that over it. So that way I have a couch that I can actually sit on again. And I know the foam is not that dense. It's, you know, it's a bedding, whatever. I don't care. It will work for what I want it to work for. And if I have to cut it in a few pieces to get it to work, then so be it. But for 25 bucks... And every other thing that I found was anywhere from 50 to 100 to 200 bucks. I'm not going to bitch. And I can take the cover off and just use this, the foam. And then eventually down the road, I'll have someone make a cover go over the foam. So that way, I can actually sit here and relax. Instead of uh, sitting on hard wood all the time. I have my games and stuff down there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to try to set up the camera. And that way you guys can watch a monkey screwing a football trying to get this thing cut. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Alright.
Okay. Alright, so what I just did was I cut two of them six inches. These are going to be for the end down here of the couch. So that way there's a little armrest. And then um, I got the bottom cut, but it was going to be too big, um, too thick. It was going to sit up way too high. So I took one of the foams off, and it has memory foam on top of it. And hang on, I got to spit. <laughs> It has memory foam on top of it, so the memory foam will make it more uh, durable. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but you press it and it goes right back. It's it's a lot denser than this yellow stuff. This yellow stuff is kind of squishy, but this stuff here, it's more it's more of a dense. So I want that more on the couch, and I don't have I have my sheet that I can wrap it up in right now but that's it that's all I have and I'm gonna have to use that uh, whether I like it or not I do love the sheet that I have uh, because I like the the flannel look to it and it is flannel now I just gotta find something for the end whether it be blue or white or whatever just it's not gonna look right until I can get material and someone to sew everything and I'm sorry for the sunlight behind me but it's not going to be right until I can actually find the right material that I want. And I want the blue digital camo of the Navy. That's what I want the couch to be. So I have to, um, I have to have something made so I can put this inside of that, both of these. Because I want that blue, blue, uh, blue Navy digital camo. And uh, that's what I want the couch color to be. So I'm getting one step closer. Um, I found this at um, the Salvation Army for 25 bucks, and there's more than enough that I need to to get this done. Um, there's actually I'm going to have extra, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the extra. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to throw it away. Yes, I know that it was used, and I don't care. Um, I don't want the, the sheet cover to it, um, the white thing that was on the top of it. Um, sorry for the camera, I'm trying to get my sheet up off the floor. That white sheet that came on top of it, there. Um, I'm throwing that away along with the plastic. I don't care about that, I don't want it, nothing. This thing actually has been cut once before, so I'm not the first one to cut on this. So. Uh, I'm getting one step closer to having my couch done. So, and I only paid 25 bucks for it. Everything else that I've seen online is 39, 39 up to about 250 bucks. So for 25 bucks, it's used. I don't care. It was cheap. I could afford it, so I went ahead and got it. And it has the memory foam, and it's a dense memory foam. It's only like a two inch thick, but like I said, I double layered it. Actually, it's going to be triple layered because it's going to have a single layer of yellow and then two layers of the uh, of the memory. Now, something I probably could do is take the that last layer of memory foam and either put it on the top or the bottom. Um, but I don't... I mean, for what I'm using it for, I think what I did is perfect. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfection. It just has to work as a couch so I can sit on it and be comfortable because uh, my redneck chair is about all ripped up and I am smashing the lid on my cooler. <laughs> but it's okay. It works and it gets me by. But I, I've been wanting to get this couch done for a while now and I promised you guys that I would eventually get it done. So um, the, only, the only step after this is to have someone sew me some material to put over the top of that. I don't sew. Well, I can sew. God, I need to sew. So I can sew. My problem is, is I'm not a good sewer. So I got to find someone that I can, that can do it. But I got to wait till I have the money to have it sewn. But I want that. 
and I want it done decently right. I don't, you know, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for uh, just something that's going to work for, for my purposes. So as long as it works and it gets me, it gets me by, I'm good. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not into this thing for all perfection. None, nothing in here looks like it's been done by a professional. Maybe a professional redneck. But um, I'll get this done, and then I will come back in and sh uh, shoot a video after I get it all put together and get the sheet wrapped around it and everything like that. So that way you guys can see what it looks like. So it'll probably be about 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes for me, but it'll be like that for you and you guys will see so stay tuned all right y'all I got it done and it does look like it sits up a little bit high I still got to clean up the mess I put what's left of the foam in a garbage bag still got a little mess to clean up up there and put my toaster back on there but this is uh I took a piece of foam and I had that blank that I had on the back and I wrapped it up in it. It's not sewn in or nothing like that. It's just rolled up in there so it looks a little bit nicer. And then um, I had a small piece that I had for the arm down here but I usually use this little pillow here so I put that there and then just set that at the end. So and then I put a pillowcase on a white pillow that I had so that way I had another pillow on the couch. But it's done but that's another thing that's crossed off the list. It's, I will say that it's 98% done. I still have to sew cloth around it. But that's another thing that I've been wanting to get done that I finally got done. So the couch is completed. It actually is really comfortable, believe it or not. It may not look like it, but it is very, very comfortable. And it's very soft on the tush. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Another project marked off the list, so we'll have to wait and see. I think the, I think the awning is going to be the next thing I'm going to do, um, and wait till you see how redneckify I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, I don't have the hundred and sixty-four dollars to get a new awning, and so I'm going to try something different for right now, and it's probably not going to work. But for about. 20 uh, it's going to end up being around 30 bucks and i'm going to try this and see see how it works and the only thing i i mean and if it don't work i mean i've really i actually if you want to be technical i've actually thrown 30 dollars away before so if it doesn't work it doesn't work i will have to, i will tell you it deals with um gorilla tape a tarp and double-sided sticky tape <laughs> Yeah, I'm redneckifying this RV like you wouldn't believe, so we'll have to see how it works. So anyway, that's it for the day. Be kind to one another, love one another, and live life to the fullest because tomorrow's not promised. Y'all take care, God bless, and have a great day. And remember, Puddin' 2020. So put your drinks up for the weekend, cause them work day sure been creeping. What's up? Is anybody gonna get tore?